Hi everyone, Julia here. Welcome to this guide on dropshipping for beginners. In this video, we are going to talk about what products to sell. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you'll find the best current deal linked in the description. It's a deal of only $1 for the first three months. Otherwise, stick around and I'm going to break down everything you'll need to know in the next few minutes. Number one, there are many types of Shopify stores out there general stores, niche stores, and even one product stores. A general store is a store selling all kinds of products which are not necessarily related. They might sell clothing, electronics, kitchen equipment, and even fitness accessories all in the same store. A niche store, on the other hand, is a store which has a lot more focus than a general store and is typically selling products of only one particular category. An example of a niche store could be a fitness store selling all kinds of fitness-related equipment. And lastly, you'll also find one product Shopify stores, which are built completely around a single product. An example of this could be a pair of headphones. Number two, Shopify dropshipping is usually hyped as a business model, which will make you rich if you simply sell a trending product. And while this can be true, it's not entirely complete. While your product selection is extremely important, what might cancel that out completely is your landing page presentation. In other words, how your store actually looks and how you are presenting that product. With a trending product and a poor website, there is no feeling of trust from whoever comes into the store, which makes the chances of them actually purchasing something extremely low. Flipped at the other way around, if you create a product catalog which you are confident and passionate about and put true dedication into creating a professional and great looking store with the right product offer and marketing approach, you are going to sell. So what you should take from this is that it's not just about a trending product, it's about the experience you create around that product. More about this later. And once again, I will guide you step by step into setting up your store. We'll get to that in a minute. Number three. Finding trending products can be done completely for free using social media. You can use Instagram Reels and TikTok to find what's buzzing at the moment. These platforms work with powerful algorithms, which means they are constantly tracking what kind of content you engage with. By using this intentionally, you can load your social media feed with product ideas by engaging over and over with other trending videos. With that same approach, you can also learn to use these algorithms to bring traffic to your store. TikTok is known for making videos go viral, so you can use this as an opportunity to get your products seen for free. Now, when choosing the products you're going to dropship, here's exactly what you should be paying attention to. Number one, your product needs to make your audience feel something, even if it's just at a subconscious level. You don't want to dropship products people can just go and buy at their local general store. Go for products that are different and are going to solve the problems your ideal customer has. And when I say problems, I don't necessarily only mean actual physical challenges. Solving problems can be a subconscious emotional effect. You'll want to get to the very root of these questions. What is going to be better in your customer's life when using your product? How are they going to improve their status using your product? Really enter your ideal customer's mind and then decide if it's a strong product for you to sell. Answering those questions will also be the foundation of your marketing material later on. Number two, if you create a short video of this product, you will have your audience's attention in less than three seconds. If that's the case, you have a good product. And of course, this also depends on your ability to create short videos, but typically a very strong product will already catch everyone's attention by simply appearing. Number three, make your catalog work together as a whole to create an attractive looking store. What I mean with this is that with the right product combinations, you will naturally increase the perceived value of your online store. It's like when you enter a high-end clothing store and everything is well put together. There's no random items. You are taken on a curated experience which naturally makes you see the store with so much more value. So do the same for your online store. Number four, checking for keywords will help you find a niche with a high success potential. If you're not sure what a keyword is, keywords are the terms people are searching on platforms like Google to search for what they want. So ideally, you'll be looking for keywords that have a high search volume and a low competition rate, which means there will be enough people looking for this product, but it will not be so difficult to rank well in search engines. Figuring this out is also essential for your marketing strategy later. We are going to be implementing these keywords all across our online store, which is all going to be analyzed by Google and help you rank higher when that keyword is searched for. You'll find different tools in the description to help you out. 
Now that you have better ideas of how to select your products, you'll find a link to CJ Dropshipping in the description of this video. CJ is a very well-known and trusted dropshipping supplier, and they offer a massive catalog of products you could add to your store. Adding products to your store is completely free, and you'll only pay once you place an order. If you have an extra budget to work with, I highly recommend ordering some of the products you are selling and getting really good at making short videos. This is how you are going to advertise on platforms like TikTok and Facebook ads. Alternatively, I also recommend you start looking into search engine optimization, also known as SEO. This is a free method you can use to bring organic traffic to your store, and it has a lot to do with the keywords we were talking about earlier. I'll leave a few links below to help you set up this part. So what we need to do next is link CJ Dropshipping with our Shopify store, which is how we are going to automatically forward all orders received on Shopify to CJ's platform. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you'll find the best current deal linked in the description. It's a deal of only $1 for the first three months. Inside Shopify, we will edit product listings, prices, discounts, email automations, design the website, and everything else needed to launch and grow this dropshipping business. So to help you succeed, I'm going to guide you step by step into the complete setup process. You'll find a link to that video in the description. I also want to let you know that I've prepared a super valuable free resource to help you in your e-commerce journey. It's a digital magazine bundle featuring a marketing guide and a branding guide. I've chosen some of the coolest Shopify stores that I've come across and I've broken them down into segments of what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and tons of inspiring ideas for your online store. And in the branding guide, you'll find everything you'll need to know to create a thriving brand from scratch. You'll find tons of tips and definitions on how to create a solid brand identity, basics on brand voice, visuals, intelligent color use for sales, and other top knowledge insider stuff. You can find both of those resources in a free bundle pack in the description. And that's all everyone. I hope this guide was helpful to you. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.